So as I mentioned in my previous video, I've actually been away for the past week. So I haven't really been up to date on what is going on in the TikTok or YouTube world. But when it actually came to researching my next few videos to talk about, unfortunately, this one we're speaking about today wasn't really a surprise. And that is mainly because we have spoke about many people in the past who have certain professions where TikTok and their profession shouldn't really go hand in hand. For example, we previously made a video about Dr. Roxy, and in case you haven't seen that video and don't know the situation, let me just give you a quick recap of this article. Plastic surgeon who live-streamed procedures on TikTok loses medical license. Yes, this was a plastic surgeon who would live-stream her procedures, she's halfway through a surgery, and she would, like, interact with TikTok and talk to the chat and all that stuff. Which is obviously mental, because it is a profession where you should have your full concentration on the person you're doing surgery on. And because of this, a lot of the surgeries went wrong, and Dr. Roxy ended up losing her medical license. There's obviously a lot more to the story than that. I did make a previous video if you're interested, but that is just one of the many reasons why I unfortunately wasn't surprised when I heard this new story regarding this TikToker called Dr. Kenny Smiles. He's a TikToker with 120,000 followers, and as we can see by his bio here, he says he's the politically incorrect dentist, and that's putting it lightly. So again, it is someone who is showing his profession on TikTok, which could be fine in a lot of ways, right? There's a lot of doctors on TikTok who do videos just giving advice or giving their opinions and just helping people out. They don't actually film any procedures or anything. They're not doing surgery and talking to a TikTok chat. They're just answering questions from their viewers and giving advice. It can be very helpful. But Dr. Kenny Smiles is very different. In fact, I'm actually going to show a few clips right now just to give some context as the type of videos that he would do. Oh shit, is that your nana? It sure is. Fucking hell, that could be a Billie Jean. <laughs> Damn, she is my lover. Yeah, so as you can see, a lot of his videos are just very, like, sexually inappropriate. He would say some grim stuff. And we're talking about a professional here, you know, a dentist. And this is kind of the vibe of all of his videos that we will soon see. Damn, I wasn't expecting that. Sorry. We just, we just had a moment. You and I, you didn't know it, but uh, now that you're... Well and yeah, he can obviously try and use the excuse that this is just his character and he's playing up to it. In fact, he has used that excuse, which we'll get into later in the video. But from everything we've seen within the last week, it doesn't seem like any of this is a character. And that will make a lot more sense later. But Dr. Kenny Smiles has also uploaded some other disgusting videos where he has a patient who's just saying blatantly racist things and he's just laughing in the background. Who else besides the Indians? Who else besides the Indians do you think if it wasn't the Indians that we were fighting? Okay. Them dang illegals. <laughs> don't post that. I'll get hate. I also said in the last thing you posted. That's part of the song though. I don't care. People are gonna think I'm racist. Yeah, I think they're gonna come to that conclusion for very good reason. So yeah, I have muted the word she said here, but she said the N-word and Dr. Kenny Smiles finds this completely hilarious. This is actually a video that went viral a few years ago before anyone had a specific problem with Dr. Kenny Smiles and this new stuff has came out. But now this new stuff has came out in the last week or so, people have put two and two together and realised that this viral video from a few years ago is him. He's also uploaded a few other videos where he just like makes some racial jokes for absolutely no reason. Are you happy? Do you speak English? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, this is kind of like a common theme in his videos. And if he's not making racial jokes or just sexually inappropriate jokes, he is just taking the piss out of his patients for, again, no reason. You ever, like, kissed a guy in those? Yeah. <laughs> my boyfriend every day. You kiss your boyfriend with those in? That was a man for life. That, that he is. Yeah, you're gonna get fucked for the first time for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Those are right out of a Halloween catalog. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think you get the gist of the type of videos that Dr. Kenny Smiles makes. Just disgusting videos that people didn't really have a problem with for a long time. I mean, clearly people enjoyed these for some reason. He's gained 720,000 followers on TikTok. But it seems like even the people who were defending Dr. Kenny Smiles for so long are starting to change their opinions because he has recently announced that he's starting a show. Exciting news, we are filming for my new show. So it's not the show in itself that people really have a problem with. I guess it actually sounds like a good idea. He's taking people who have problems with their teeth and he's changing their life for the better, as he says. But the actual problem comes from his response to people applying for his show, which we will get into. But first, let's just hear him describe how to enter the show. We are going to be opening up a hashtag that will allow you to submit a video, and in that video, tell your story. Okay, the hashtag is DKS casting, not casting couch, so be aware. 
I mean, if you want to send one of those, it just your account might be cancelled. I mean, it's a very funny joke, right? Casting couch, it, it's porn, do you get it? I mean, it fits the theme of his page, I guess. I just don't understand why a professional dentist is speaking like this. It makes no sense. I'm not a very sentimental person myself, per se, so you're not really going to surprise me very much if, you know, you're a single mom of three kids and you have three different baby daddies and you can't, and your teeth are shit. That probably fits the bill for hundreds of different people, probably not gonna select you for the show. Um, or if I do select somebody like that, it'll be one. Because I think it is funny that you have three baby daddies. <laughs> and three kids. <laughs> or four baby daddies with four kids. <laughs> Okay, that's awful. I'm not laughing. Yeah, it is awful. You're not wrong, mate. But he really wasn't lying when he said he's not a sentimental person because he's actually responded to a lot of people who have told their personal stories with their lives and horrible stuff they've had to deal with. And he's replied in the most insensitive way possible. Now, we will get to that one specifically, but first of all, let's actually get to the sexually inappropriate responses he's had to people who just want to better their teeth and they feel like this would be a great way to do so. So there's this TikToker called Annalie Elizabeth who posted this eight-minute video. It's kind of like an application to get onto the show. I hate talking about this so much. This video is for Dr. Kenny Smiles and Dr. Kenny Smiles only if you are not him. Please stay because I might need you too. So yeah, as you can see, she really wants to be part of the show. She says that this video is for Dr. Kenny Smiles and Dr. Kenny Smiles only. And she actually sent this video to Dr. Kenny Smiles on Instagram in hopes that she would get a response. And a response she did get, but it wasn't exactly the response that she was expecting because she noticed that Dr. Kenny Smiles had followed her. So she messaged him again and said, oh my gosh, you followed me. Does this mean you saw my auditions on TikTok and my other Instagram? He replies saying, yes, I saw it. So she replies saying, I'm so happy you saw it. Sorry, I'm an ugly crowd. Prior, to which Dr. Kenny Smiles replies saying, just wanted to have sex with you. It's fine. Now, I will say before we get into the many messages we are going to see in this video, I do just want to say I don't know for 100% certainty that they're all real. Obviously, I wasn't the one who received the messages. This person in particular does actually show in other videos quite good evidence, in my opinion, that these messages are real, showing like timestamps and showing it's from the official account and whatnot. But I do just want to say for legal reasons as well that I wasn't the one who received these, so I don't know for 100% certainty. But one thing I do know is that these alleged messages have been received by a lot of people. I mean, here's another example here where someone sends a picture of their teeth and also a message kind of talking about how they want to be on the show to which someone on Dr. Kenny Smiles' Instagram account actually replies and says, thank you for your video. I will pass this along to Dr. Kenny. Wishing you all the luck. Taylor responds basically saying that she's thankful and then eight hours later, Dr. Kenny Smiles himself seemingly responds. What's your address and phone number? I'm going to decide who makes the top 50 by making some trips to meet some in person. Already a very strange strange thing to do. I don't know why he has to meet them in person to see if they should be accepted into the show. I guess maybe an explanation could be that he's going to take the camera crew with him and he's going to film like his first interaction with these people maybe. But judging from Dr. Kenny's next message, it seems like that explanation is completely thrown out the window as he says, and please send me 10 more pics of your size, shape and stuff like that. This show is about a lot of things beyond teeth, so that will help me clothing optional. Again, we're talking about a professional dentist here, and he's responding to people who just want to better their teeth and see this is a very good opportunity, and all of a sudden he's asking for pictures of, like, their body and saying the clothing is optional. Like, it, it's completely grim behaviour. But other than the sexually inappropriate messages that he's been replying to these contestants, he's also allegedly been sending very horrible, degrading messages to these people. So here we have a person whose TikTok account is called Ariel and Jill, and they just basically tell their story about how they were hit by a drunk driver, and due to a bunch of surgeries and horrific medical issues, they lost all their teeth, right? A very personal story, something that must be incredibly hard to deal with. And Dr. Kenny Smiles allegedly responded to this message saying, the show is more than a sad story, and with your, um, size, you don't fit the bill. And if this message is real, it is absolutely disgusting. I don't need to tell you that. Is very obvious, right? But it seems like he has this whole thing with people's sizes. This is the second message that we've seen with him mentioning it. And I guess, like he said in his announcement video, he doesn't care about people's stories. And he's made that very clear in this video with a honestly horrible, horrible message, especially coming from someone who seems to want to change people's lives for the better and fix their smile and make them feel all confident. Like, that's kind of the message he seems to want to spread. But 
the messages seem to scream otherwise. And it's not even just the messages, right? It's his own videos that he's posted to his own account where he's just degrading people and saying disgusting stuff. Like, I don't understand this brand he's trying to go for. Now, luckily, this person in particular, after posting this video, got approached by another dentist who is going to help her out. So that is a good ending to it, I guess. But it shouldn't have took this. It shouldn't have took this at all. But it turns out this isn't exactly a recent thing for Dr. Kenny Smiles because he's been in a lot of legal trouble for a long time, actually. Back in 2013, Dr. Kenny Wilstead was arrested for fraud over prescribing medications to friends, patients, and himself. It is stated that DPS didn't notice this until they discovered he had been prescribing medications that were not even related to the dentistry field, such as sleep aids in extremely excessive amounts, and it was later determined he had prescribed over 800 painkillers over the course of one year to a friend. That is a story from 2013, so we can see exactly how long he's been doing stuff like this for, and for some reason, he is still a professional dentist and has a lot of clients, clearly, and is very successful. I mean, just from this article alone, we can go through some of the other accusations that have been made against Dr. Kenny Smiles. So they actually mentioned three different disciplinary actions that had took place against Dr. Kenny Smiles. And there was one in 2015, as we can see here, that says, The 2015 action stemmed from Willstead's prescribed and controlled substances for non-dental reasons, according to an agreed settlement order. Willstead was required to pay a fine, take continue education costs, Forces and surrender his Drug Enforcement Administration and Department of Safety permit for controlled substances, among other punishments. We also have another one from 2019 that says, The 2019 disciplinary action stemmed from an incident in which Willstead was found to have not provided the minimum standard of dental care, which included failing to do periodontal probing, sorry, I, I can't really read very well, we know this by now, as well as failing to take cementation radiographs while fitting crowns on two teeth. The board also found Willstead failed to keep and maintain proper records and abandoned a patient according to an agreed settlement order. The final disciplinary action states again that Willstead failed to provide the minimum standard of care, failed to maintain proper records, and failed to provide the board with a business record affidavit according to an agreed settlement order. And like I said, this is all stuff that has been going on for years, but it seems like only recently people have started actually taking notice. Now, Dr. Kenny Smiles actually responded to a lot of these accusations on Friday to NBC News. The reason he's actually responding is because he's currently getting sued by a patient. But he has responded to multiple different claims and he has said, I have staff who help handle my social media. Which may be true, but them messages that we just read seem like they were definitely from him in particular. He literally says in one of the messages, oh, I am going to be going to visit 50 of the people to see if they should really be in the show. You can tell by the wording in a lot of these messages that it's him speaking, in my opinion, right? And also, if you do have people who help handle your social media, why are you hiring people who are saying stuff like this? It makes zero sense. So either way, he's responsible for this. Let's be honest here. The character I play both online and in my office has been something I have used to break the tension of a stressful experience, and unfortunately, sometimes people who don't have full context feel like I crossed the line, and it's their right to have their own opinion, he wrote. I respect that right. Yeah, it doesn't really seem like a character to me when he's saying very similar stuff in private messages to one person in particular kind of defeats that purpose, right? However, he said he believes the current situation stems from a blow-up of a few written comments. In regard to the legal action being taken against him, he said, a woman is suing me and falsely accusing me of touching or grabbing her buttocks. He wrote that he is totally innocent of any inappropriate touching of that woman. Yeah, I feel like there is more than enough information out there to build an opinion on Dr. Kenny Smiles, and for me personally, it's obviously a very awful opinion. I think he's disgusting, quite frankly. I would love to know your opinion in the comment section down below and all the stuff we spoke about in this video and any other stuff you may have seen on social media. But yeah, I really don't understand what his thought process was here. And it's actually mental that this stuff has been going on for years. I mean, a decade, right? But yeah, like I said, let me know your opinions in the comment section down below and I'm gonna leave the video there. So if you did enjoy, please leave a like down below, subscribe if you are new, and until the next one, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, goodbye.